Weather Authority forecast. Well, friends, happy Mother's Day. You know, this is the one time I can say one last time before it's over, but we're going to continue to love our mothers. Now, take a look at our Midland Sky Tower Cam. Here's what we are seeing ready close up the evening, you know, for Mother's Day. You know, some pretty partly cloudy skies. Take a look down below Midland in the Midland area. We are seeing, you know, some pretty clear driving conditions thanks to the Rubbles family law firm. We're able to see what it's looking like right now in Midland. Now, one thing you can't do with the Midland Sky Tower Cam is how cool we are currently sitting. I just would say how warm we're currently sitting. Now, yes, parts of the Midland Odessa area and just West Texas is seeing some rain, but right now we're sitting in our 70s at 72 degrees. That humidity is sitting at 59%, so even though it doesn't feel like 72 on the skin, it is 72. Now, our winds are traveling pretty calm, really nice, traveling east 6 miles per hour. Now, the sunset happened, you know, tonight at 8.38 p.m., and here is what it's looking like right now. The sunset left us, but in the past 24 hours, the entire West Texas area has increased increase in temperatures. So I mean, it's pretty mu muggy and humid out there. So we're nine degrees warmer in Midland and Odessa, five degrees warmer in Big Spring, seven degrees warmer in Homs, you know, eight degrees warmer in Carlsbad, five degrees warmer in Pecos. So we're warming up after, you know, literally yesterday. Now, I know many of us have been wanting the rain. You did your rain dance. and Now I know you're feeling like you're ready for the rain to go. But here's what I can show you right now. Yeah, we're getting a little bit of some clear, you know, this going on a little bit of no rain in the area. We're going to then we get into Monday four in the morning. Those who do the rain dance, you have jinxed us all. But you know, it's great because we need that we're in this dry area. We're going to see that rain at four in the morning and then the rain is going to leave us, but it's going to come back into the area around 3 p.m. It's going to be taking over, you know, parts of Fort Stockton, a little bit of Midland and Odessa, mostly in Alpine and in, Al in Marfa, along with in Dryden. That rain's going to continue to be with us all the way up until Tuesday, 4 p.m. So we get a little bit of a break, but 4 p.m. That's you're going to make sure you are either indoors or you have your rain gear because you're definitely going to need it. Now tomorrow morning as you're packing your kiddos, you know, lunches, do be sure to pack them something warm because by in the morning we're going to be sitting at 62 degrees, partly cloudy, cool and rainy. Here's what we have for, you know, tomorrow. Those walking your dogs. Last thing we need is that wet dog smell. So be sure you have your rain gears for your pets. If you have it six in the morning, eight in the morning, we're sitting at 62 rather. By noon, 72, 4 p.m., 77 degrees. It's going to be muggy and it's also going to be wet. But the rain we're going to be seeing, couple, you know, road safety tips, avoid flooded roads, turn around, don't drown, and drive slowly through those puddles if you have to go through them, the only way to get to work, because that seven-day forecast is going to be showing that we're going to be seeing rain all through the week. Now we are going to be seeing, you know, a 60% chance of thunderstorms come tomorrow. And I know that's not fun with sports because, you know, when it gets wet out there, it's just not the greatest. I physically winced when I saw all that rain and thunder. Really, we gotta have it like the whole week? Yes, we do. We need it, Avi. We really do. But I know for sports, it's just a little bit unfortunate for you. If you say so, Bridget. Yeah. If, if you know what, I'll take your word for it. If we do need it, then we need it. Then I, I appreciate it, though. So that will be 